Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. These readings are for the month of August. We will be looking into love and generally what's going on. It's going to be a five card spread where I'll be adding more cards and five card spread at this point because supposedly it is break time but you need to have your readings. Okay, so we're going to be taking a brief look at August. I will be extending these readings. Those of you that are on Patreon, of course, will have these readings for free. Uh, you get to watch all the extended readings. And those of you that are not on Patreon, um, you can always uh, purchase from my website. The links will be in the description box below the video. Um, we are in the time of Leo, Leo season. Then comes, obviously, Virgo. So, August, a very hot month in the Northern Hemisphere. It is summer, everyone. Those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, I know it's very cold. And what can you do? I mean, it's all about change. All right. So, let's see what is changing, what's going on in the month of August, everyone. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Uh, much love to all of you. Let's go on to the readings. Hello, hello, dear Scorpio. How are you all? Thank you for joining me here. This is Kathy from Divine Debut. I do wish you a wonderful August. Let's see what's going on in your uh, love and general reading. General and love for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. Okay, dear Scorpio, I know you've been under a lot of pressure. Everyone is emptying their garbage onto you. Um, this too shall pass. Let's see what's going on in the month of August, dear Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Scorpio. Scorpio, in the month of August of 2021. Scorpio. I will be extending this reading. The links will be in the description box below the video. Those of you that are on Patreon obviously get this for free. So you may want to consider joining us on Patreon as we do uh, giveaways as well. Okay. So Scorpio August. We've got the Queen of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. At the foundation is the Six of Swords. Recent past is the Page of Cups. Pisces. We've got Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've got the Empress here. The Empress is on your mind. This is what's crowning you. Empress is uh, Venus, so it's Libra and Taurus. And the outcome is Two of Swords. We've got the full card. Aries. What I get here is that some of you have left a situation that was very difficult. There was a lot of conflict. Um, some of you are moving towards someone that you love, um, but I think you you you're sort of having second thoughts about it. Right? You're thinking you're you're thinking to yourself, "Have I done the right thing?" Um, I do feel that whoever you're leaving could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. So you are choosing between um, Taurus, Libra. Or another water sign, so it could be Pisces, could be Scorpio, like yourself, could also be uh, Cancer. I do feel that you're having second thoughts about this new beginning. And I feel that you know it's a risk, but you're willing to take that risk. I do feel whoever you're leaving behind, they tried to apologize. As whoever you're leaving behind, they could not offer you everything that you're 
wanting, that you were desiring. Um, so they're showing up as the Page of Cups, let's say. Page of Cups is only a small offer of love. It's very childlike, very childish, sort of a person that you could be leaving behind. Now we've got the mother and the child here, so some of you could also be a mother. You could be leaving a marriage for a new love connection, and you're wondering if you did the right thing. Maybe you're in doubts because you're wondering if this will be the right connection, if your child will be okay as you are taking your child with you. I'm going to say there could be someone out there that's leaving the child behind, and that that is what is really, really hard for you. Scorpio, and yeah, we've got the Four of Wands, which is the marriage card. Okay, let's see what's going on in love. Four of Wands does speak to family stability, feeling safe and secure in a family situation. We could see a mother and a child here. What's going on in love for Scorpio in the month of August, play spirit? We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel that you were with someone that just wanted to play with you or someone that just did not live up to your expectations, I feel here. Or you're wanting to play, you're wanting that because you may have been in a connection where there was too much conflict flirt so the, we're in the leo season right now dear scorpio so the sun is squaring you obviously which is sort of like saying i dare you you know bring on these changes because you've been under a lot of pressure what are you going to do some of you are just trying to get out and relieve some of the pressure here and you're wondering if you're doing the right thing Stay optimistic about your love life. It's a beautiful card to get. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Some of you are searching for romance. This is what you're missing. This is what you're wanting. Let's see what the Karma Dharma is for Scorpio, please, Spirit Scorpio. In the month of August... I do see an offer on the table here. Or there's some sort of a sacrifice that is asked of you before love can come in. And we've got the fool and the sacrifice is go for it and do not look back. Take that leap of faith. Trust. That's what the card says. It's called trust. That is beautiful. Now you may be dealing with an Aries. Could be an Aries or some of you could be leaving an Aquarius as well because the uh, full card does show Uranus many times. So Uranus is, you know, it's moving towards the future. Uranus is um, moving. I'm free, you know, I'm free. I'm free from anything that was conflicting, difficult. And, you know, Six of Swords does speak to traveling over water, moving towards your balance, your harmony, serenity. So maybe maybe also you've been dealing with someone, someone that maybe is at a physical distance. You've got to travel through water to get to them. Right, and this is a big leap of faith that you're wanting to take, but the card is saying trust. We've got an open opportunity of luck here with the clover. Oh, this card keeps showing up, this maze, which does speak to confusion, too many people uh, trying to find a way out, waiting for that, you know, uh, that help from spirit to open the doors for you. And 
because we've got birds here, there's three birds and three birds can speak to they can speak to news coming through, they can speak to gossip as well. Some of you are trying to find your way to a soulmate connection. Right? And you have the key here, which you find the solution. You find the exit. You find the way to escape a situation that was unhealthy, that was not fun, that was that was not worth your time, that was not not aligned with you, not aligned with you. So the key can speak to a new home as well. And it's interesting how the how she holds, you know, the glyph, the glyph of Venus here. It looks like a key. It looks like a key ring, doesn't it? Some of you may also have help from a mother. So someone is giving you a key, or this could be someone that's in an important position, someone that's able to help you, someone that's willing and able to help you as well. So the Queen of Cups we know is someone that's open to love, someone that's very emotional, someone that's usually very sacrificing, give from the heart. Queen of Cups, strong intuition as well. I do feel that some of you are trusting your intuition and taking that leap of faith. You are coming from a lot of conflict and having dealt with someone that was quite childish. Some of you may have stayed in a situation, maybe the conflict was concerning children as well because remember the empress the empress can speak to pregnancy those of you that uh, this is if you've fallen you know pregnant not ready you weren't ready it was an unexpected let's say pregnancy maybe someone did not did not appreciate that. Maybe someone was not ready uh, to start a family. Remember, I'm not reading reversals and the Four of Wands is a family. Yeah, there's the devil. You see, the devil can speak to only, you know, a sexual connection or a controlling connection or a narcissistic, egocentrical connection. Someone that's got big ego on them. The devil is a difficult card. It's limiting. It's 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 a vicious cycle that you're in. It's Capricorn, and Capricorn uh, Capricorn is Saturnian, and obviously not all Capricorns are the devil. So please remember that they're just very hardworking. Yes, they are ruled by Saturn, but also Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn. So let's not rule out Aquarius. The devil is restrictive. It's like a vicious cycle that's hard to break. It's very controlling. And it's also, it has got a lot to do with timing as well. Uh, the devil can speak to age, an age difference. We could have an age difference where we've got an elder divine feminine that's connecting with a very young um, young adult, if we could say, young adult or someone that's just turning adult here. Now, for some of you, this could also be a same-sex relationship. For some of you, yes, it could be. And we know that the devil can mean that as well. Right? Something that's limiting, something that, you know, the Saturn can speak to fears as well. And we have had in these readings, we've had another sign that, you know, um, this has come up. Two of Wands means a choice, obviously. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is family bliss getting to a completion point, which, you know, turns into an Ace of Cups. Someone was not filling your cup up, so you filled it yourself or the cup was given to you by someone that was not your match you know this is this could be a karmic situation 
obviously. This is uh, not for all of you, obviously. And we've got the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups. You may have been dealing with a Knight of Cups who is acting very immaturely here. And some of you that are mothers, um, maybe there's not a, such a big age difference from the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups, not such a big uh, difference. So you may be dealing with someone that's younger, that's more playful, that's more optimistic. Okay, and you're trying to get out of something that was not that was not feeding, feeding your heart. Let's take more cards and see what's going on. Now, the general energy speaks of the Four of Wands, which does speak to your stability. This is this is marriage. This is commitment. This is family. Let's see what the Queen of Cups is all about. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is also a Capricorn, where you're looking, maybe you're dealing with someone that was only interested in building and the money that they make. No, there was no fun, no, there was just too much, too much work, no love, okay? Let's see why we've got the Six of Swords. Some of you may have connected with someone on travels in the distant past. A Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, but uh, I see here, dear Scorpio, that Knight of Swords, again, I'm going to say the Aquarian energy is here, doesn't have to be, could be any other air sign. The Knight of Swords is, is um, someone who speaks their truth, whether they step on your toes or not, they don't care. There's strong intelligence in the Knight of Swords, strong intelligence, but... You know, the Knight of Swords can also speak to legalities in the distant past. Now, Knight of Swords could also be someone that you're communicating with, someone that is someone that is a risk taker. As you can see, he's standing at the edge of a cliff, and we've got the full card twice. So this, I suppose, could be another side to you. And because we've got seven swords here, I'm going to say some of you are exiting a situation because someone's been, someone has stolen from you. They've been secretive towards you. Seven of swords is is someone that is not on the up and up. And seven of swords can also speak to strategy. Some of you are looking for a way to get out of conflict, to get out of hot water. From the past get out of a marriage that was quite challenging let's look at that four of wands shall we yeah we've got see we've got the nine of pentacles which is usually someone that is single and uh, yeah you're much better off being single than being in this situation five of wands is a lot of conflict it's a lot of arguments Okay, nine of uh, pentacles is someone that's financially they're okay. Um, I feel that there are different values here, different values. One person was more about fun, more about living life. The other person was more about, you know, what they've got in the bank. So some of you may have been working very hard to... Uh, and planning for your future to, you know, get get a new house, find a solution to get out of a narcissistic difficult connection. Now, some of you may have been dealing with someone that was acting single and stepping out of your relationship. Remember that the devil can speak to sex, right? Let's look at the uh, Page of Cups. We've got the Ace of Cups here, which can mean tears, tears of sadness or tears of joy. Ace of Cups, right? Some of you have maybe have been filling your own cup or, you know, trying to hold on and give everything that you can to your child, I feel here. 
I do feel that for those of you that are mothers, it has cost your child a fair bit, this change. Let's have a look at the Empress. And we've got the Magician. So, dear Scorpio, I do feel... On another, on another layer here, I do feel that, you know, because the magician is a major arcana, um, the magician can also be a trickster. Yes, it can be intelligence, it can mean logic, it can mean communication, but also manifesting. I do feel that where career is concerned, you are quite the magician. I do feel that you've built yourself up. Uh, financially, you're in a pretty good position. You you can hold your own here, I feel. And I feel that you were sort of waiting for the right timing with the ability to have everything that you need to have this new beginning. Because remember, the clover is an, a window of opportunity. It only opens up for a little bit. It's a moment of luck. And this is Jupiter in Sagittarius which does speak to luck, it speaks to an opportunity. So for those of you that, let's say this is you and you've got someone in your life that's in a position, a prominent position, someone that can, you know, help you, I do feel that that is really, really positive here with the magician. Remember that the magician is an ace and the magician is someone who has everything that they need They've got the ability to manifest. So you're probably hoping for that open opportunity as the planets align to give you a solution, to give you the key. And I do, I, I am going to pair up the Seven of Swords with the Magician where you've been looking for a way to manifest, to, to implement, to create... Wow, we've got the Three of Swords, we've got the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords, that is Five Swords. I feel that whoever you are leaving behind from the past, I feel that they're getting their karma back, they're getting, you know, what they deserve, what they gave you is what you're giving them back. Three of Swords can also speak to a love triangle, obviously, where someone is choosing between two, okay? And the Three of Swords, you, this could be you coming out of heartbreak as you exit. You've made your mind up. You've made your choice and you're moving forward. Hoping to heal your heart. We've got a couple of threes. I am looking very strongly, very importantly, at the stay optimistic about your love life. Some of you are doubting. You're doubting that you could ever have a new beginning another chance in love but I do feel that you um, doubt your abilities remember the Empress she is very very able she attracts abundance she attracts love she she is like the magician remember we've got the 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 cage here that's been opened you've got the solution you've got the key in your own hands and we've got the moon here, and the moon can speak to fears. Um, the moon also speaks to deception. We've got the hanging man and Pisces here. Some of you have been dealing probably with the Pisces. Pisces can also speak to karma. It can speak to the ending of a major cycle. The moon does speak to the home where there's been deception at home. Someone's been sacrificing a lot for the family, but I feel that they were not appreciated. And I'm going to say some of you are also, I do feel that I'm talking to one person out there that some of you could have a child and pregnant to a second as you exit here. And even though this is really heartbreaking, um, you're looking towards the future, okay? You're staying optimistic. The future always brings optimism. 
Remember that playfulness and flirtation. This is the Leo energy where the sun is moving through Leo now. Okay, some of you may have connected also with a Leo, with someone that is very playful. It could be promise here that someone could be supporting you. Um, and when I say support, I feel it's more emotional than anything else. We could also be talking about either a Leo or a Sagittarius. I feel here. For some of you, yes, it could be an Aquarius as well. Others of you are leaving an Aquarius. Okay. Some of you, um, dear Scorpio, you may have... You may also have... Um, you know, um, some planets in Sagittarius, since you're right next to Sagittarius, maybe you are a very optimistic person and you felt as though your, you know, your aura um, has dimmed because of all the negativity you were dealing with the devil, right? So it's better to be free and, you know, taking charge of your own life, starting a new cycle here. Okay, you will find the solution. Do not fret about that. There can be some disappointments as you take this leap of faith. But remember that a new cycle is like, you know, it's, it's a new beginning. So all new beginnings are difficult, remember. It takes time, okay? Time to find a new home. It takes time um, to start over again. So you need to trust in your ability Okay, remember that you could have friends or people that are around you which could give you a solution to any any um, confusion or any misunderstandings or difficulties if you're having trouble finding your way. I would say depend on others. Those that are there for you now, they're the people who should be in your tribe. A friend in need is a friend indeed, so you can depend on your friends, dear Scorpio. All right, so... A new beginning. I'm wishing you well. I'm going to continue this reading, extending it. As I said, the links are beneath the, the video in the description box. I'm wishing you well. All the best. Stay optimistic. Don't forget that. Ta-da.